went to the shops and got more this morning. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys and ladies, it's Dan. And John. And Chris. And welcome to another episode of Where's the Proof right here on QOB. And today we've got a very, very exciting new beer that has only just been released quite recently. It is Trooper, the Red, Red and, and the, the Black. Black. And we were ridiculously excited about yes. this beer. We've been waiting for it in the post for in absolutely much, ages. Much anticipation since we found out that we're doing a porter. Um, and yeah. then it arrived in this wood-looking cardboard box. So, yes. so, do you want to jump in? Let's jump into the box. Let's jump in. Oh, 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 bottles. <laughs> oh yeah, bottles. Oh, yeah. Well, hmm. well that's, that's what we expected. Yeah, I was expecting cans. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and already we've got that absolutely badass artwork. That is. This is, this is absolutely. Uh, I mean, when I first saw it, when it was first first announced, and I saw the uh, the job we did in the uh, the logo, I thought that was such a nice take on the uh, the well known artwork for the trooper. Um, and the and the material makes it look as om almost yes, as if it's kind of like that like is, old school, like that's really old school. That's extra nice the uh, the texture mm -hmm. of the uh, mm -hmm. logo. Mm -hmm. Well, well, well it almost looks like Jota paper, if you remember Jotas. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is a Robinson's Brewery beer, um, just like um, just like all the other um, sort of Iron Maiden beers, 666 and the regular Trube. Brewed uh, in collaboration with Bruce Dickinson of Iron Maiden, of course. Uh, indeed. Mm -hmm. This one is a porter rather than um, the other kind of beer. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the other one. The not a porter beer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're not porter. The pale ones. Um, yeah, uh, and, and then of course it's got a bit of a kick uh, with it as well. It is 6.8%. Contains malted barley. Barley? 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 And wheat. <laughs> and so it got some wheat. <clears throat> oh, right. So I think without further hesitation we should get into these. Yeah, yeah, I've been excited for this all day yeah. today. But of course, it's not just black, it's red too. It, if you hold it up to the light, uh, certainly. Yeah, apparently. Yes, actually, we can't actually see the red there. Well, we'll see more when they're oh, in yeah, the yeah. clear glasses, right? Into glass. Into, into glass. Into the glass. In the light, obviously, that you probably can't catch this on the camera, but it is very, very much like a red ale kind of look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, however, I, like, I just have to taste it. I'm we sorry, have to taste it. Yeah, yeah, I don't apologise. <laughs> Some porters that I've tried have been like, ridiculously fizzy so much so that it, like, you know, yeah. it kind of puts like an extra yeah. bit of acid in your mouth but this mm. one I, I think is well balanced this is nothing like I was expecting it, and you can totally totally taste the malt are you getting licorice? I was going to say a little bit just a, we get a little victory V's you've lost his eye like you've it. lost his eye John no mind <laughs> Trooper in Black Porter is the first dark beer in the Trooper ranks and a modern take on a recipe dating back centuries. Mm. Uh, the red time. and black colour comes from a blend of chocolate and crystal malt, uh, which gives a full body beer, uh, a roast malt and caramel backbone. Uh, Robinson's yeast uh, provides hints of both licorice, there you are Daniel, no, um, and yeah. honey character to create a delicious warming brew. Okay, here is the ultimate question. No, n not whether you'll drink a pint, because that's irresponsible. However, you really not. My question to you, Daniel, is do you like it as much as the original and best Trooper? Good question. That is a good question. And I'm going to give you a good answer. No, it's... they both have the equal things. I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm trying to preempt you. Because I already know the answer, Daniel. <laughs> it's not a question of which one do you prefer. No. Oh. <laughs> no, I think, generally speaking, it's difficult. I prefer this one. Yeah. Okay. I believe I prefer okay. this one. Okay. But it, it doesn't mean, I mean, I know this is an addition, but if it was permanent, I wouldn't just drink this. Yeah. I would still go back to the original Trooper, but, which I have to eventually, because this is... Double. Only, a bit of doubling. Mm -hmm. But because this is, this is only a limited run, obviously I'll just drink the hell out of it until it disappears. Maybe, but, maybe because it's a limited edition, you will choose to drink this more often than Trooper anyway, because you know you'll yeah, yeah. Trooper afterwards. But yeah, but yeah, yeah, I will, but I, I suppose in a... If it didn't disappear, it would be. I would probably mix, mix and match them. But I do watch, I do prefer this one. What a Malone! Nice work, Bruce and Robbies. Nice work. Good job. Proper job. Proper job! That's not even Cheshire, is it? No. Mm. I just can't stop picking it up. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Well, I hope. I mean, obviously, we got it straight from uh, Robinsons themselves, mm -hmm. but like, I do hope that they really get it out there. Um, Actually, I do yeah. hope 
I hope to see this bottle in bars. Ah, and now he's turned into a great air balloon. Fantastic. <laughs> so then, Daniel. Yes, I would have a pint of it. Right. Okay. I would have a pint of this. <laughs> <laughs> when, they st when they stop making these limited edition bottles, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The plants obviously free to make their own sort of. Oh yeah, well they would do it most, most if not all of the time. What like, do you want to find something that would, which is similar to this? No, I'd like to find something at Robinsons that's totally shit, so you can get rid of it and make more of these. <laughs> you heard it here first. The best business idea that I've ever heard. Thumbs up, guys. Thumbs up. All oh, right. And that is all we've got time for on this episode of Where's the Proof right here on QOB. Um, if you enjoyed this comment, please do leave a like and a comment below in the comment section um, with any beer that you may have found that you may wish us to review. And we will try and get it and then and review it on the channel. Subscribe uh, if you want to. Yes, yes, that too. Uh, and most importantly, please drink responsibly mm. uh, and take care. Be sensible. Of course. And that just leaves me to say, I have been Chris. And I've been John. Been done. Ciao. Tally ho. Tally fucking ho, pet. And it goes, let's get stuck in. Like that. And then, wow. And then it goes, <laughs> <laughs> That will make it to the end. Thumbs up, man. That's the only point of video we're using. <laughs>